What is up everybody? We're back at the shop. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed last video. Um, it was kind of fun just to kind of play around with the TIG. I'm, I know that I'm not great with it, but um, you can only get better if you do it. So, but on that note, we got the downpipe all welded out. I actually did, uh, I made some changes to it um, off camera over the last week and pretty stoked on how it came out. Um, so I ended up going through and putting in the flex pipe. Here, let me lift up the car, I'll show you. All right, so I ended up going through and putting in the V-band and the flex pipe. Um, so I cut this down here. So it's technically a two piece down pipe now. So we have this piece that comes right off the turbo, which is bolted to the turbo now. Uh, I welded a bung in the top for the uh, O2 sensor. And then I got the V-band down. I got the flex and then it goes back to the rest of the exhaust. So it's as tucked as it can possibly get. So now all I have to do to finish out the exhaust is I got my wideband sensor right here. I got to drill the hole and weld the bung in for that right there. And then we got to tack this in the car and weld this out. Um, and then this is done. I'm going to address this situation at a later date, but for right now, it works good. So I'm just gonna leave it. Probably eventually down the road, I'll put another V-band in here. So then if I have to service the transmission or whatever, I can V-band here, V-band there, take it out. There's plenty of room to get the clutch or the transmission out if we had to do like a clutch or something uh, with just this pipe gone pretty happy with how it came out that was my first uh down pipe that i've ever built myself um and pretty honestly i'm pretty happy with how it came out i did a wastegate for tyler's evo a long time ago and kind of used some of the experience with that towards this and you know what for the first one i'm pretty ha i'm really happy on how it came out and we're gonna run it so I want to get the welder rolled over here and we're going to tack in that flex pipe and then uh, we'll take it back over to the bench, weld it out, weld in that bung, and then we can bring the car back down and finish out everything for the um, intercooler piping and the manifold and all that stuff. So I did put the oil pan back on, which you guys saw in the beginning. You got the the turbo drain bung welded in there really really nice super happy how that came out so we just gotta heat sheave the drain line and then install that and then i got the valve cover bung welded in too so that's looking good we gotta repaint this and i have some paint cans made up with the millennium jade and I think I'm gonna do the valve cover Millennium Jade. So that'll be pretty sweet. Um, we got the intercooler piping back also. Welded out. Dylan hooked it up. Guy is a phenomenal welder. Um, way better than me. Let's just put that in the universe. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's get the welder. Let's start tacking this thing up and let's get some shit rolling.
exhaust, done. Check that off the list. Down pipe, bolted up. Mid pipe, bolted up. Good to go. O2 sensor, wide band center, tightened. So that is done. Car is back down. And now we're gonna be, be multitasking. Um, I wanna get the engine completely sealed up tonight. So that entails intake on and valve cover. But before we put the valve cover on, we gotta paint it. So I got some engine primer, some heat primer. I'm, uh, I already just went through and prepped up the valve cover, sanded it up. And so I'm gonna hit it with the primer and then we are gonna hit it with some of the Millennium Jade. And then while that is drying, we're gonna go over to the engine, get the uh, head surface ready for the valve cover, uh, clean it all up, get the new gasket in place, clean up the intake port um, for the new gasket, and then put that on. And yeah, so let's just get to spraying and let's get the ball rolling. I always like to take a little bit of scotch Brite and brake clean and just spray scotch Brite down with the brake clean and then just go around the mating surface real quick just to clean up any of the corrosion or anything just because it's aluminum there's always a little bit of junk that's left there just to help give the gasket a little bit more better surface to bite to and to hold so i've never had any issues doing it this way you really just want the mating surfaces to be as clean as possible so there's no bumps or imperfections between the gaskets and whatever you're sealing so i'm just going to go ahead real quick hit this and then we'll do the exact same on the cylinder head and then we'll bolt it up I got three coats of primer on the valve cover, so now it's time for the actual color. Um, we'll do a light coat on this right now, and then we'll throw the intake manifold on, and by the time we get that all um, tightened up, then we can go ahead and put another coat on that. So here we go. We got the intake manifold on and uh, the valve cover should be dry and ready to go on. Um, let's go take a look. I think it came out pretty freaking good. The spray can is like spot on to the color. So like really, really stoked on that, but not bad, not bad at all.
uh, in the results of being impatient, we messed up our freshly painted valve cover. Uh, obviously, I did not let it cure enough, um, and I was just trying to get this thing sealed up, but it is what it is. It's not that bad. I mean, we can just scuff it and shoot it again, just on the car. Um, it's just this little bit back here. The rag grabbed it in a tack, tacky spot, so, ah, whatever. Um, other than that, though, looks pretty cool. Um, I dig the Millennium Jade a lot better than the gold. Um, but yeah, so manifold, exhaust manifold on, turbo on, tight, downpipe, everything good. Intake manifold is on, that is good, valve cover is on oil pan is on all the lines everything is good to go so engine is completely sealed up now we can go through and start putting in all the intercooler we can mount the intercooler again i had it uh actually sent out to get cleaned uh and pressure tested and everything everything looks good cleared um so now it's just got to bolt the intercooler back up and plumb all the piping uh i gotta do the lines for the swirl pot yet and then we got to hook up you know the cooling system and stuff but we're going to do all the air system first and then we'll do the cooling system and then we'll put oil in it and do the we got to put the injectors in still um and then drain all the 93 out of the tank put e85 in we got to do the fuel pressure regulator. I took it off to get the manifold on. Um, we got to do that, get the lines hooked up to the fuel rail, and then we can fire. So a decent amount, but realistically, another day's worth of work. Um, we'll be ready to fire this thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking excited, dude. I can't wait to freaking turn the key on this thing. It's finally starting to come together and super happy with the progress that I got tonight, but I'm gonna call it a night tonight and then uh, we'll pick up uh, in the next day or two. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, so I might just chill out with the girlfriend and uh, whatnot, but I'll catch you guys in a couple seconds and we'll be good banging out this intercooler piping.